the accessions, and it was made by your director, that by summing the party that uh, government is somehow allegedly, quote, intimidating or, quote, coercing party faithful to throw their support behind one of the presidential aspirants. And we have to be open about it. The allegation is being made that the government is putting all this authority behind the vice president. I want to say in very clear terms to you and to the world, it is a false and malicious narrative. There's not a single truth to it. That's why I can beat my chest and I can say without any fear of contradiction, there's no one in the party, there is not a single person in the NPP who can say that I have asked him or her to support this or that aspirant. I have not done it, and I know why I haven't done it. I have not set out to dismiss any MMDC or any political appointee because they are supporting a particular aspirant. No minister, no deputy minister has been thrown out of his job or even been threatened because of their support for their presidential, their preferred presidential aspect. The members of my cabinet who are openly campaigning for particular candidates, who are, who are not, the, who is not the vice president, it has not affected their presence in the cabinet, there's been no indication to them whatsoever that somehow or other I am disturbed by what they're doing. It's their right. They're party people. They can make whatever choice that they want, like all of you. He admonished the rank and file of the party not to take a dig at government, but rather defend the record of the NPP instead of attacking it. I don't see what we gain by attacking the record of our own government. When you do that and you become then party candidate, what are you going to tell the people of Ghana? Oh, it was a coup for Ado who misled you and mismanaged affairs. I will be different, even though I am MPP. I'm still under the uh, Oslo sign. I'm different. And the people of Ghana will be that gullible. No, let's, let's be serious. So I'm, um, the question is, I think that if we're talking about the record of the government, my understanding is that every MPP person, communicator, or whoever you are who is a supporter of the party, it's your duty to try and defend that record and make sure that the people of Ghana buy into that record. Because at the end of the day, once this presidential primary is over, that is going to be the issue before the country.